This here is Charles Darwin. His theory of evolution by natural selection has now been seen and proven to be undisputable fact. And this is his famous book on the origin of species, where he published his ideas on evolution by natural selection. Just before Charles Darwin, there was a man called John Baptiste Lamarck, and his theory on evolution was completely different to Charles Darwin's. And Jean Baptiste Lamarck's theory on evolution was disproven. And we're going to go through that today, comparing the two theories. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection is this. What you've got here is a giraffe with a short neck. And what you've got here is a giraffe with a longer neck. Both of them show variation. The short neck giraffe will die because it cannot feed and eat. The giraffe with the longer neck can survive because it can feed. Giraffe with the longer neck will survive and then breed with other long neck giraffes because the short neck giraffes have died. So when the long neck giraffes survive, they're going to breed and pass on the beneficial variation to their offspring. And this is called natural selection. And when those offspring grow up, they're going to be able to feed on the taller trees. They'll survive and they're going to pass on their beneficial variation to their offspring. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection wasn't very popular at the time because it went against the God, the creator model that the church was teaching and that society believed in. He also couldn't prove it because genes and chromosomes were not discovered yet. So he found it very difficult to prove that inheritance happened genetically. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what did John Baptiste Lamarck theorize? Well, his theory of evolution was this. This here is the Okapi. Even though it looks like a zebra, it's actually the closest living relative of the giraffe. And the giraffe and the Okapi are both in the family Giraffidae. This example describes Lamarck's theory of evolution by acquired characteristics. So the Okapi couldn't reach the trees. So the Okapi would just stretch their neck so they could then reach the tree. They would then have a longer neck. This would be an acquired characteristic, one which they acquired. Now the Okapi's neck has got longer, it can now reach the tree. And it is this acquired characteristic. Lamarck would have suggested that the Okapi would then pass on to its offspring, not a genetic one. This is an acquired characteristic, not a genetic characteristic. So then over many, many years, the Okapi would then stretch its neck to reach the leaves on taller trees, and then the neck would get longer and longer and longer until the Okapi resembled a giraffe, and speciation took place. So now the neck is so long that Lamarck would suggest that the Okapi is no longer an Okapi, but it is a giraffe. And now the giraffe will then pass on the beneficial acquired variation to its offspring. So this here is Lamarck's theory of evolution by passing on acquired variation. This here is an Okapi with a short neck. Its neck got longer as it stretched to eat the leaves. Therefore, this is an acquired variation. And when the Okapi's neck got so long that it became a different species, this is where speciation would take place. And Lamarck theorized that this was due to acquired characteristics. And then giraffe's necks would then get longer because those two are stretching to reach taller trees. It's very easy to disprove Lamarck's theory of evolution by passing on acquired characteristics. The woman's natural hair color is brown. That is what her genes will produce, brown hair. But she dyes her hair to ginger hair. So if she has a baby, Lamarck would suggest that the offspring should have that acquired characteristic, so more slightly ginger hair. However, they don't. The offspring will have brown hair, which the offspring have inherited from the genetics from the two parents. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Darwin's theory of evolution, due to natural selection, has been proven as undeniable scientific fact. Whereas Lamarck's theory of evolution, due to inheritance of acquired characteristics, has been disproven. It has been disproven. So evolution by natural selection has been proven due to the discovery of genes and genetics. And DNA sequencing shows genes are inherited from the parents. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.